guys it's official you can now officially install windows 11 on the apple silicon mac microsoft is officially supporting windows 11 on m1 max through parallel software if you go to microsoft website it literally says parallel desktop version 18 is an authorized solution for running arm versions of windows 11 pro and windows 11 enterprise in a virtual environment on its platform on apple m1 and m2 computers <music> Hey guys, Fresh Take Up here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Windows 11 on an M1 or M2 Mac. I've done similar video in the past, but those were for Intel Macs. This is going to be a simple and straightforward process on how you can install Windows 11 on an M1 or M2 Mac using a virtual machine. So kindly watch the video to the end so that you have a clear understanding and also be sure that you're doing the right thing. Now, speaking of doing the right thing, this video is sponsored by Software Keep, an online software retailer that specializes in providing genuine and affordable software products from reputable brands such as Microsoft, Norton, Bitdefender, and other antivirus softwares, as you can see here, and lots more. For you to have a working Windows 11, Software Keep is the right place where you can get a genuine Windows 11 license. But more on that later in the video. Now, to get started, the first thing you're going to do is to head over to Parallels and download Parallel Desktop for Mac. As you can see here, we have Buy Now. Then we now have Download Free Trial. What I will ask you to do is to click on Download Free Trial. As you can see here, so it says Get Started Within Minutes, Download and Install Parallel Desktop for Mac. So we click on Download Free Trial and our download should begin immediately. Our download is complete so i'll just click here then launch it so i'll just double click this and click on open and accept the terms and condition then it will download the parallel software okay the download is complete so it's now asking us to input our password so i'll input my password and click on ok as you can see here we have two options the first option says get Windows 11 from Microsoft. Then the second option says install Windows or another OS from a DVD or image file. Now, if you don't have the Windows 11 file, all you have to do is click this option right here and click on continue. Then click on install Windows. This will automatically download Windows 11 from Microsoft and create your virtual machine for you. I don't want to go through this process because I already have Windows 11 eyes on my computer. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to use the second option that says install Windows or another OS from a DVD or image file. Since I have the Windows 11 ISO, I'm going to click on this and then click on continue. Then I'm going to select my Windows 11 ISO file as you can see here. Or I can just click choose manually. Then it will now say select a file. Then I'll go to my download folder because I kept it on my download folder right here. Then I'll now click on open. It say click continue to begin the installation. So I'll click on continue and it's asking us to select Windows edition. As you can see, we have Home, Home Single Language and Pro. So I'm going to choose Windows 11 Pro and click on Done. I will primarily use Windows 4. You just pick any of these. Okay, let's say Games and click on Continue. Now, giving it a name, Windows 11 is already here. So let's keep it that way. We just click on Create. If you want to have the parallel shortcut on your desktop, you can click on Create Alias on Mac Desktop. So select this and click on Create. Parallel Desktop would like to use Bluetooth, just give it permission and the installation process will begin immediately. As you can see, the initial Windows installation process is starting up. But you know what guys, you guys cannot sit down here and wait while this thing is going to. With the magic of editing, I'm going to fast forward this so we can quickly get to the next step. Alright, now it's asking us to restart. This is a normal Windows installation process, so click on restart and it will reboot the virtual machine. Guys, I really love how everything is so quick on this M1 Mac. Just a moment, guys, we're almost there. As you can see, it's checking for updates. Okay, guys, so it says installation complete. Click to continue. So we click 
and it now takes us to this windows license agreement if you have the time you can take your time and read all of this if you want to but i'll just click on accept and the first thing we're seeing here is windows 11 installed successfully use it just like you would on a pc we have windows 11 installed on our mac through virtual machine and everything works as it should so as you can see we have a pop-up that says activate windows now now this is where software keeps comes in it says running a non-genuine copy of windows can put you at a greater risk for viruses and other security threats there are a lot of websites that claim to sell original microsoft license or software license in general but most of them chances are 10 days after you buy it the key is no good anymore microsoft will flag the key as invalid key and you are never going to get a reply from their email or a phone call you're just going to get frustrated and your money is gone now this is one of the vital reasons software keep is the best and trusted place where you can buy original software and license software keep is a microsoft go certified partner that sells only genuine microsoft software so you don't have to worry about anything Software Keep offers a wide range of software products including Windows operating system, productivity suites such as Microsoft Office products which includes Word, Excel, Outlook and PowerPoint. These software suites are available for both Windows and Mac. They also have antivirus software and lots more. As you can see here, their best sellers include Microsoft Office suites which you can purchase and save a ton of money on your purchase. You can either purchase software product as a digital download or in physical form with the option of choosing either one-time purchase or a subscription-based model. One of the standout features or more reason I would highly recommend Software Keep is their commitment to providing excellent customer service. Their theme of knowledgeable and friendly support staff is available 247 to assist you with any question or concern that you may have. So if you have any question or issues, you're going to be talking to a real human directly instead of a robot as most websites do. In addition, Software Keep offers a 100% satisfaction guarantee, ensuring that you are completely satisfied with your purchase. Overall, Software Keep is a reputable and reliable source for purchasing software products with a focus on providing genuine and affordable software solutions to customers worldwide. Their phenomenal services have helped Software Keep to earn over 100,000 of 5-star reviews as you can see here. Click the link in the description box and use my code FTH20 to get a 20% extra discount on all your purchases. If you have any question concerning this, kindly drop it in the comment section below and I'll be right there to interact with you. So all you have to do is to head over to Software Keep and get your genuine Windows 11 software license. From here, it says Software Keep provides wholesale priced software with year-round service. Over 100,000 plus satisfied individual and businesses in USA. So we have Microsoft Office 2021 Home and Student that goes for just $129.99. As you can see, it initially sold for $149.99. For now, you can get it for approximately $130. Now, your concern is to get the Windows license. So all you have to do is click on Windows, then select Windows 11. As you can see, you can purchase your Windows 11 license for $84.99 and save up to 43 percent that's for windows 11 home then for windows 11 pro you can get it for just 109.99 dollars and save 39 percent of the original price then if you're on enterprise you want to get windows 11 enterprise currently goes for 299.99 dollars and you're saving up to 17 dollars here which is really impressive you can also get additional software for your windows 11 installation like microsoft office home and business at a ridiculous amount and save a ton of money as you can see you can save up to 12 percent if you buy this particular one here then if you go to home and students plus windows 11 home it means that you can buy windows 11 home and office home for just 208.99 dollars and save 25 percent this is quite impressive so i will highly recommend you get your original windows 11 license or microsoft license from software keep now after getting the software license from software keep all you have to do is go to start then click on settings and then select activation as you can see it says windows reported that no product key was found on your device so what you have to do next is to click on change product key click on change and then input your product key that you got from software keep so guys as you can see it says enter a product key 
your product key should be in an email from whoever sold or distributed windows to you now so since i've gotten my product key from software keep i'll just go ahead and key it in and then click on next it will now say activate windows by activating windows you get the best experience free from interruption so i'll go ahead and click on activate now activation is done it says windows is activated we've activated this copy of windows so i'll go ahead and click on close as you can see here it shows active windows 11 pro so guys that is how you can get your genuine microsoft windows 11 license key and activate your windows 11 through software key now another thing that i recommend you do is to click on windows updates to download the latest version of windows click check for updates and download the latest version of windows to make sure that your windows is up to date as you can see here we have updates already it says complete update to maintain security of your device it's already downloading so you just give it time and that is it that is how you can simply install windows 11 on your m1 mac guys if you can remember during our windows 11 installation parallel did not give us the access to configure the ram size and select the number of cpu calls but you can actually do that so all you can do is right click on this parallel icon then click on control center you're going to see this then click on this little settings icon here then go to hardware now we have access to change the number of ram and cpu calls so select manual then from here we can select the number of calls that we want to use the memory select the amount of ram that we want to use by default parallel recommend you divide everything into two if your system has a 16 gigabytes of ram you should divide that into two choosing eight for the virtual machine same thing applicable with uh, the cpu cost so that's how you can simply change the hardware settings on your mac but if you don't know what you're doing i would just advise to keep it on automatic parallel will choose the best settings for you so that is it guys that's how you can simply install windows 11 on your m1 or m2 mac make sure to check out our sponsor for today's video which is software kit for your original software and licenses okay i'll have all the necessary links in the description box below thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the very next one click the link in the description box and use my code fth20 to get a 20 percent extra discount on all your purchases click the link in the description box and use my code fth20 to get a 20 percent extra discount on all your purchases